Okay, let's look at a great parable. God, this is one of my favorite ones. Luke chapter 8, verse 4 through 8. When up went a large crowd gathered of people from one town after another journey to him, he spoke in a parable. A sower went out to sow the seed, and as he sowed, some seed fell on the path and was trampled, and the birds of the sky ate the rest. Some seed fell on rocky ground, and when it grew, it withered from for lack of moisture. Some seed fell on thorns, and the thorns grew with it and choked it. And some seed fell on good soil, and when it grew, it produced fruit and from its fold. After saying this, he called out, Whoever has ears to hear, ought to hear. All right, we've heard this one before, right? <laughs> the parable of the sower. So how does it start out? There's a guy who throws out seed. Where does the, what happens to the first group of seed? Okay, it falls on a path. And what happened? Trampled and eaten up. Okay, the first set of seed. What happens now to the second batch of seed? Rocky. And what happened? Okay, it initially grew, but dried out. You know, you ever try to plant something in really crummy soil? What happens? It might germinate, but then it dies out. The third batch. Okay. This stuff grew, right? Choked it out. Okay. And what happened to the fourth? Fell into good soil, and what happened? It yielded a hundredfold, a lot. scriptures also that deal with parables. And what's the function of the parable? It's to, you know, look about this. Think about the people back then. Do you think they're very literate? What people back there, what were they accustomed to? Farming. You know, farming, you know, things in nature, some of the things in nature. So look at the example now that we're given in this parable. Sowing seeds. You know, most people would understand the concept of sowing seed. You know, this is how we make things grow. And he's making the analogy to different types of soil. So what Jesus is doing here, he's using common everyday things to explain something a little bit deeper. Okay? I know the scripture says some contradictory thing. It seems contradictory. It does seem contradictory, but... Can anything really be contradictory in God's Word? No. no. There are passages in Scripture that sometimes some say, think it says this, and others says this. Well, if God is God, God cannot lie. So everything that God says has to be true somehow, some way. So even though some verses seem contradictory, we know they can't be. That's the nature of God, because this is God's Word. So what we have to do now is go deeper and to get better understanding of what's happening in Scripture to understand what it really means. So sometimes we can't... So do you know what that really means? I'd have to look up in detail. Okay. okay. I, I just wonder yeah. yeah, it does seem contradictory. Okay. okay. But in the big picture, we know what parables are all about. Okay, he uses okay. to teach common folks. You can hear something, but not necessarily understand it. Most of us were at Mass. How many of us remember what the reading was about? It was only a few days ago. We might have understood it. We don't remember it. Do we want to remember it? Do we want to understand it? Sure, but we've got a lot of stuff going on. So we're going to hear, 
he wants them to hear, they may not understand it. Even the apostles didn't really understand a lot of what he was talking about, right? It's like, that doesn't make much sense. Yeah. 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 That, that brings it more into context. Yeah. Thank you. I need all the help I can get sometimes. Well, <laughs> the other thing is that if, if people that heard, you know, they heard the first parable, and if they aren't turned off on it, if they're intrigued and, and they, they want to learn more, they're going to hear more parables, and the more they hear from Christ, the more they're going to start understanding. They're going to be drawn in closer to the meaning. Christ will bring them in, and, the, and they're going to understand more and more. But it's, it's as I see it, that parable, that is, that is so I would say, his calling card, his introduction to these people, to, to get them to listen. And if they're willing, just like the sower of the seed, if they're willing to listen and they keep coming back for more, they're going to get more. Okay, yeah, and there are a lot more. Okay, good. Well, I also think it has to do with the... He's talking to the common people who have an open heart, but he's saying to the Pharisees and the <coughs> Sadducees that they're not going to get it. There are some people because that still have, won't get it, that's true. No, in some place else, they have a closed heart and a closed mind, so they're just not going to hear the meaning. Okay, good, good. Right. There, there used to be a program, a radio program I listened to when I was a little boy called I Love a Mystery. Oh, yeah. And I think that uh, there is something intriguing about a story that makes sense on more than one level. And that Jesus could, his, his interest in teaching people showed that that's, he used a sort of code in that first story. And it was an intriguing story on its own. But then it also had a deeper meaning. In other words, he could say ordinary things and embody deep spiritual truths in them. And that, I think that's an element of fascination for Jesus. Yeah. And we're going to do that now. Okay? Larry. I think, I think this is very simple. If you have ears, you ought to hear. Hey, that's pretty good. <laughs> that's pro simple and profound. <laughs> Deep theologian back here. Very good. It's, it's chapter uh, number 11. We, that's what he's saying. That's the interpretation. We're going to get to that. Okay. okay. I think it has to do with faith. That when we look, we don't necessarily see. We just look with the eyes of faith. And when we hear but not understand, we can hear but not really understand a mystery. Like under, not understanding the Eucharist, but having faith that it is the body and blood of Christ. Sure. A lot of times we can see things, but we really don't see it, or hear things, but really don't understand it. 